Adobe Aero is one of the most interesting new applications that Adobe has created, and this time for augmented reality, which is basically taking content that you create in Photoshop or Dimension or something else, and then actually applying that through a real world lens. One of the most interesting workflows between applications is the assembly and layout of 3D models within a scene in Adobe Dimension, and then being able to output those models for use inside of Aero. So let's have a look at how that's done. Here I am inside of Adobe Dimension, and I've prepared just a couple models here. So I've got this one in the center, and this is just using the default Mobius strip that comes as starter assets inside of Dimension. And then we also have this little splash here, which is also one of the models that come shipped with Dimension. Now I've applied certain materials to these. I've got right here just a regular gelatinous red color. And on my Mobius sculpture, I have cracked glass material that I've just tweaked a little bit. And I've got my splash just sort of wrapping around that in an interesting way. Let's go ahead and move the view around here so we can see how that looks. So pretty cool. And it would be really neat to have this available to us inside of Aero so that we can just sort of walk around and look at it uh, inside a real environment. So to actually do that, if we select both of these models, so using the selection tool, We'll choose File Export, and we can export the selected models for use inside of Aero. When we choose that, the file is then processed and converted for use in augmented reality. Now, notice there are a couple of restrictions around this. If the file is really large, it'll take a while. And also, for this particular model set I have here, um, it mentions that Dimension was unable to compress my asset beneath the recommended size, so it's going to be a little big. I've actually done this before where this has happened, and even though it is a warning, it doesn't seem to really have any effect inside of the Aero application. So when you're ready, you just hit Export, and make sure to save it to your Creative Cloud files, because that's where you're going to open it up from inside of Aero. All right, here we are inside of Aero. We'll create a new document and pan around to establish our surface. Once that's done, we pin the surface, and then we're able to add our file from Creative Cloud. So here are a bunch of assets. I want to choose sculpt.glb. And even though there's no preview, I can go ahead and hit open. And notice it brings our sculpture right in here. I can place it. and we can move the camera closer, farther away, all around the sculpture in order to examine it. There's also some controls we can place in here that are your standard arrow controls. So let's scale this up a bit. And let's actually rotate it a bit along the Y axis. That should be good. So pretty good. If we don't want to see our little controls inside of here, we can always enable preview up top. Right now we're in edit mode. And then we can view it without the controls. Really cool.